you guys. I'm out at Riverview and I've got the little K1000. Why, you ask? Why not my big 8x10? Well, today I am shooting some Adox HR50, that little 35mm stuff. Always wanted to try it for two reasons. One, it has that speed boost technology, which we all know is just some way of pre exposing the film. And the other reason, and which is really important and intriguing to me is its sensitivity out to infrared. I think it goes out to about 775 or something like that. So I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures, filtered, unfiltered, going from like yellow filters, green filters, blue filters, red filters, orange filters, and even the 720 filter. So I'm photographing this scene right here. I don't know how much infrared is in the sky, it's late September. But we've got some leaves, green leaves, blue sky. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to take a shot uh, with no filter right now. And I'm, sh I'm shooting at box speed just to see if that speed boost does anything. And I'll probably be developing in, in uh, ad oxes. What is it? FX39, I think it's called. Anyways, I'm going to take some pictures before I lose any of this wonderful light. Okay, yellow. This is about a equivalent to a rat in number 15. I'll go to green. Blue one is a 47. Okay. Orange, and this is, I don't know what it's equivalent to. 21. I'm 21, I think. Now we'll do a red. That's, this is equivalent to a Rotten 25. There's some infrared energy there. What do you think? Take a look in the photograph. So 15, so I gotta go five stops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's five stops more, so that's equivalent of like EI 1.5. Go look at those trees over there. It's a view that I've shot many times in the past. I like to come back to. I'll take one without. There's one without. Green. There's green. Now I'll do the orange. I'll just go through the... I'll skip the blue. The red. And the 720. Here comes a lawnmower dude. Hope he doesn't. I don't think it needs cutting here. So five stops. I'll take stop more. Wow. 
That's a hell of a tree. Wow. I gotta take one from this side. I rarely take pictures from the south side. Let's do that. Bring you guys with me so you can see what I'm on about. This is a vertical shot. I think I'm going to jump right to the infrared. I think I might take another picture with that tree. Two trees. And I'm going to go one, two, three to half second, and 5.6. That's five stops. shot with these two trees and I think that's it for trees I'm gonna move on to some architecture I should do horizontal these two no, I want the vertical vertical okay, need to move back a smidgen close that gap up more between them I like that long branch. I think I need to move back and do a horizontal. I think I do. You gotta move back too. Yes, you do. How's that? Can you guys see? Four. No. Too far back. Here, maybe. Yeah, I think so. There's that one tree though, it's in the way. In behind. That's better, I think. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Go back here. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's take one. Without a filter. I'll do a <laughs> filters are all over here. <clears throat> I'll do a smorgasbord of filters again, except for the blue. I don't like you. Uh, skip the yellow. I'll go to go to green. I'm starting to get hungry. Red. Now when I get hungry, I get ornery. I always try to cover up the viewfinder because I don't want light that might sneak in. You never know. Probably overly, overly cautious. The sun's behind me too, so it kind of makes me paranoid. Meter at five stops. Okay, and I'll bracket one. Okay, I'll get some architectural shots. And the next time I see you will be in my dark room. Catch you guys in a bit. All right, I'm going to use some of Haddox FX39 2. Never used it before. Looking forward to using it with the HR50. And Adolf recommends 
a dilution of 1 to 9 and to develop developed for 7 minutes 15 seconds at ISO 50 which I used so pulled off 30 mils of the stock and I will top this beaker up to 300 mils Give it a good mix. Make sure it's 28 degrees Celsius. Which it is. I have my stop bath ready and fix is also ready. So now what I need to do is get the film in the tank. Excuse me for a minute. All right, film's in the tank. Timer is set for seven minutes and 15 seconds. Here we go. Set the timer. And I'll agitate continuously for 30 seconds. Images on there. I think I do. Okay, I'm going to keep fixing this and uh, I'm finished washing and final rinse. Let's take a look together. All right, let's take a look. Shall we? Oh, it's such a long strip. I'm not used to such long strips of film. But as you can see, I have images on every frame. Some appear denser than others. Ooh, even my infrared ones look good. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna hang this up to dry. Had to hang it here because it's so long, I just can't hang it over my sink. So I'll try not to bump into it. So I'm gonna dry it, cut it, sleeve it, scan it in, and I'll share the results with you. All right, here are the negatives, and I don't have any sleeves left. So, what was it? Six. Six per slot, I believe. It's too bad I can't keep all these ones together. I'll cut you. Kirby. It's going to be fun scanning. These ones aren't curly. These ones are curly. Why is that? They're closer to the spool, so tighter roll. Alright, let's scan these in. Curly! Stop it! <laughs> 